my name is Justine, and I am the host and founder of Study Abroad Like a G, the podcast. My name is Justine, and today we are going to cover something super quick but super cool. So um, the first episode, we talked about what is Study Abroad Like a G, and I answered that. And we all know that the G stands for Global Citizen. Now, this second episode, the question is, what is the G life? Now, since we already know what the G stands for, you know, it stands for global citizen, um, you're probably wondering, well, what do I mean by a global citizen life or a G life? So it's super simple. It just means that you're somebody who is knowledgeable, compassionate, and empathetic of what's going on in this world. So for example, if there is an issue going on somewhere in uh, a different country. Say there's an issue going on in Brazil, which there are some issues going on in Brazil. Um, you are knowledgeable of them, you know them, but you also use that knowledge to educate others and to help them not just stand in solidarity, but help with the fight. Also what being a global citizen means is that you are uh, moving the way that the people move. So when I say that, for example, um, before I went to Spain, I made sure I touched up on some of my Spanish. Why? Because I'm going to a country where their number one language is Spanish, one. But then two, that helps me move as somebody who's not a member of that society, that specific society or that nation state. That helps me move a little bit better um, when it comes to, you know, getting around. I'm able to greet and ask people certain questions. Um also, being a global citizen is knowing the culture. And sometimes you don't specifically know the culture until you get into it. And with those cases, um, you're really kind of experiencing uh, what it is to become a global citizen as you're learning it. And that's okay. And that's fine. And you will not be perfect when you are becoming a global citizen or in your um on your journey of being a global citizen. We make tons and tons of mistakes. I've made some. And I think it's so important to know that and to state that now. But I think specifically for people of color and, and I'm talking for the Black, Indigenous and people of color community, um, we have to move a little bit different uh, when we go to certain countries, especially countries when uh, the majority does not look like us. Um, or they do not speak the same language. So we have to learn how to do things a little bit differently. Um, so I would say, for example, um, I went to Argentina and I was talking to my friends and this is a learning experience I had to have. I realized that I was asking someone, I said, well, I want to learn how to do dirty dancing. And I think that that is, um, it, uh, when I sang Dirty Dancing, I meant the dance, the tango. I've always wanted to learn how to do it. And I think in America, it's been very um, uh, hypersexualized. Um, we call it Dirty Dancing uh, when in actuality, it has a name and it's called the tango. And so I kept saying that and the lady was like, I don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, are you talking about the tango? And I really had to check myself and realize like, oh, wow, like that was wrong of me to call uh, dance um, dirty. And I think sometimes when you realize when we go abroad that the terms we may have for certain dances are not proper terms and can be very offensive to the people of that culture and to, you know, specifically to the art form. So that's a way that I learned on my path in being uh, a global citizen, like, oh, you know, that's not okay. And it's all right. You'll make mistakes and you can jump back from them and you just know, okay, I won't do that again. So when it comes to being a global citizen and living that G life, just know you're going to make mistakes. It's going to be hard, but you got this and you can keep going. All right. So we will see you on our next episode of Study Abroad Like a G. Bye.